Hello and welcome to Only Connect. And I was hoping to announce the launch of our new range of merchandise based on our crew here in Cardiff. But we've had a legal problem with the dolls of our production coordinators, Elsa and Anna, and their familiar cry of, let it go! They're always shouting it in the office. And uh, we've also had to pull the figurines of our cameramen, Luke, Han and big old Chewy, on lawyer's <laughs> advice. I think the lawyers just got spooked, really, because of the trouble our unit driver got into when he tried to start his own website. Poor old Gareth Facebook nearly lost his house. <laughs> Playing tonight are, on my right, Patrick Winterbottom, a sports enthusiast and former Uruguayan sheep wrangler, Ellie Matthewman, who appeared in the opening and closing ceremonies of the London Olympics and enjoys watching competitive marbles. And their captain, Jordan Dias, a geography and politics graduate who was given a NASA badge by the Governor General of Canada. All fans of live events, they are the ticket collectors. It, Jordan, your first heat, it was ridiculous. You were so close to so many. You got pardons seconds too late. You were one digit wrong in a maths question. What do you think was the most frustrating moment of that game? Probably the maths question, because it was in, in our grasp and... <laughs> we've promised that Patrick will never mention it again, and there <laughs> I have, so... Sorry. I don't think we've ever had a team so nearly get a massive score and just miss it by inches. I hope you have better luck tonight. Thank you. you will be facing, on my left, Emma Kennedy, an English graduate who was once the runner-up in the World Conquer Championships. Mitch Benn, a writer and actor who finished in last place at the 2015 Bolsover 10k race. <laughs> and their captain, Dan Adler, an engineering graduate who saw Phil Collins in his local branch of Sainsbury's. <laughs> United by a love of the Beatles, they are the walruses. Dan, you lost your opening heat to the Puzzle Hunters. What's your worst memory of that evening? Um, losing. And <laughs> seeing every question that they got, thinking we would have got five on that. <laughs> there ought to be a word for that sort of thing. Mm. Tonight, unfortunately, the losing team is going to have to go home, which is a shame, because they're all brilliant, but we better find out who by playing the quiz. Ticket collectors, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. We will go with Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus. You are going to see some picture clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. I don't know who that is. Next. Oh, I know who that is. Terry... Terry somebody. No, no, no. Oh, Terry Crews? I think it might be Terry Crews. Go on. Next. Their surnames are all Cruz. Their surnames are all approximations of Cruz. You didn't need to see lovely little Tom Cruz <laughs> at the end there. You noticed Terry Cruz, Ellie. You're an NFL fan. I am an NFL fan, yes. Do you recognise the chap in the first picture, I don't a rugby player? No. George Cruz. Very well done for two points. Walruses, what would you like? We'd like the horny viper, please. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Could be Ginsburg, could be Hans Next. Oh, I'm thinking Lauren and Hardy, Howland. Hardy, Howland. That's it, I'll go for next. Yeah. Next. It's a word one. What is it's it? It's a word one. I'm going to go for the next at ten. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Next. No. Oh, that's chestnut. Two seconds. Say chestnut. Yeah. Chestnut. Not it, I'm afraid. Ticket collectors, a bonus chance for you? No, nothing. You did the sort of thing that happened to them in their heat. You were just incredibly close. It is a word one. It is basically chestnut. Bay. They are all different meanings of the word bay, of yeah. course, with a horse. It's a bay horse, an inlet, that sort of bay, yes. laurel, yeah. the tree, a bay tree, and to howl, to bay. Very close, but not quite right. Ticket collectors, what would you like? We will go with lion. OK. What is the connection between these lion clues? Here's the first. Next. Next. Hello. There's Lionel Richie not a T in it. No. I don't think so. No. Okay. Next. Oh. 
bring you back. It's a little bit. Papa, don't reach for it. Um, um, next? Yeah. Next. Nicole's father. Oh, Nicole? Yeah, yeah. Three seconds. Their daughters are all Nicole. They all have daughters named Nicole. Who are those daughters? So, um, Anthony Kidman is Nicole Kidman's father. Oh, that's right, eminent scientist Anthony Kidman. Papa is from the ads for a car manufacturer. Yeah, the Renault advert. Uh, Lionel Richie is Nicole Richie, who's mm -hmm. a... Sort of reality, reality person, TV. yes. And I have no idea who Alfonso's daughter Nicole is. He is the biological father of Nicole Skirtsinger, but she took oh, her yeah. stepfather's surname. Very well done. Walruses, what would you like? Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. <laughs> Next. Next. Pages W. Is it, is these keyboard shortcuts? Next. They are shortcuts in Apple applications. They are I'm the icons I'm afraid of the... I can't take I that answer. Ticket collectors, you'll never go for a bonus point. Ellie. Um, so it, the first one is the Apple version, and then it's kind of the um, first letter or starting sound of the Microsoft version. So numbers is Excel, Mail is Outlook, Pages is Word, and Keynote is PowerPoint. That is it, I'm afraid. Unlucky again, Walruses. They all start with the Apple products, and the next one is the icon of their Microsoft equivalents. Well done for the bonus, and what would you like for your own question? Two reads. Two reads. OK, what connects these apparently random clues? Here's the first. Wait, here's one. Next. It's taken off. It's away the ST. It's taken away the ST and the T, yeah. Yep. If you add the letters ST to the the bit that's after the colon, you get a description of the bit that's before the colon. That's right. So weight, stone, canonised person, saint. If you put the ST back into reet, you get street for a road and the country, Sao Tome and Principe. All things that can be abbreviated to ST and the letters that are left behind from the full name, if you take that out. Very well done. Last chance to get some points this round for you, walruses. It's the water question. That's the bad news. It's a music question, uh, but I'm sure you can get it. Your first clue is coming in now. Next. Next. When you send it flying up there, all at once you're lighter than air. You can dance on the breeze over houses and trees with your fist holding tight. Let's, let's go fly a kite from uh, oh. Let, let's, it's let's. It's let's. It is all let's. Never well mind. done. What did we hear? Uh, well, I heard let's go fly a kite and I heard let's work, to, let's work together and the last one, I don't know what the first and last one were. Well, the first one, let's kill music. Right. And the last one, let's talk about sex. Of course I mean, let's not. Yeah. Let the title yeah. of the trailer, please yeah. no. Please no. <laughs> Very well done, collecting a point at the end of the round. That means at the end of round one, the walruses have one point, the ticket collectors have seven. <laughs> Slightly unlucky first round for you there, walruses, but lots of points left available. It is round two, the sequence is round. What comes forth in a sequence? And ticket collectors, you to go first again. What would you like? We'll go Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Yes. National paper, paper types of train. Mm -hmm. Next. Are these the papers that are tabloid? But metros or some type of okay. train. Okay. Okay. So that's are, train. Are they going down inside? Uh, yeah, it's a more class of train, but I don't know. Train it could be newspaper. Should we another one? Should we another one? Next. 
Oh, they need Tesco's, Tesco's uh, to extras. Yes. Extras. Are you sure? Yeah. 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 Extra. Is the right answer, and why is that? They are the brand names for Tesco's different stores going up in increasing size. Exactly so. Would you have got that question, Dan? I, I wouldn't, but at I think... the end we would yes. have got it. Yeah. No, I mean I assume you wouldn't because I, I, you know, you shop at Sainsbury's clearly. <laughs> uh, do you, did you really see Phil Collins there, or did you just see a bald man in the supermarket? No, no, it was uh, at Guildford Sainsbury's when I was a student. What, what was in his shopping basket? I can't remember, but I can Air tell tonight? you, I can tell you what Bob Dylan <laughs> bought from a baker's in Crouch End. Please, oh, at Cheese Roll. Was it Dunn's Bakery? It was Dunn's. I once got a birthday cake there. Lovely. I don't know if we're allowed to say this sort of thing, but I mean, we've got Tesco and uh, Sainsbury's. I mean, I, you know, I'm a little girl myself. Um, I don't mean that in a cutesy way. I'm just a little girl. Um, but, uh, you know, I assume we're allowed to mention these things as long as we say there are plenty of other bakeries and supermarkets, although Dunn's in Crouch End is the best. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Over to you, Walruses, for a question. We'll try the Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay, next. Um, what's that? Pardon? So how long they last? No. no don't you? Let's go next. Helium, is it something to do with helium? Two balloons. Is it a symbol of some sort? Two balloons. Um, one... Oh, what, which, what, what are the noble gases? One... One H-bomb. I oh. will accept that answer. Yes, I mean, it's not the cheeriest answer <laughs> you could have given. We've got zeppelins. What is the sequence? It's, it's full of hydrogen. It's, it's, it's gases going down in the answer. So it's... Balloons are full of helium, which is number two. Phone batteries are full of lithium. Lithium, well done. Uh, X-ray, I've no idea. Zeppelins, and indeed H-bombs are full of... Is it? Beryllium. It doesn't matter gas, it's elements. It's the it's lightest element. elements going yes. to the lightest element. and yeah. applications of those elements. And you can have hydrogen in all sorts of things. We work with zeppelins, but of course the lovely hydrogen bomb <laughs> is more the kind of thing you want in a light entertainment <laughs> show. That's what we want to be, to be thinking about. Well done, well spotted, just at the last minute there. Ticket collectors, what would you like? Horned Viper, please. OK, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Why can't yeah, okay. I have no oh, idea. Why? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah that was a colour. Should we go next? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next. Next. <sighs> got nothing, sorry. I've got nothing on this one. The cloud is a pattern, so. Plan. You do, but. Um, I don't know what, what will be next on the next one. <laughs> Two seconds. Clothes are given in, but I still don't know. Have no. We'll go P Portugal. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Walruses, do you know? No. Um, I really like this question. <laughs> we, we hate the ones you like. <laughs> IBTW describes the size of something. It's the first letters of a description. Why is the first letter of the colour? PD of the pattern. I want to hear B. Bitty, bitty, item. Bitty, 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 yellow, oh. Oh. She was afraid to come out of the locker. She was afraid that somebody would see. Oh. Two, three, four. Oh, Tell the people so what she wore. Was. It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore on the first night of the day. Oh, yeah. And it's yes. a bitsy. Oh, no, is that the Timmy Mallet version, you weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> there is a Timmy Mallet version. Uh, under what name? Oh, Bumble Arena, and I hate you for making me admit that I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so no points, but a lovely, uh, a lovely moment. Just take everyone's mood off the H bomb. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What would you like next? Can we have two reads, please? Yes, you may. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Two thousand plus sixty-one. So two thousand plus sixty-one. Twenty sixty-one. Next. Something happened in 2004, plus 30. Is it something to do with the Olympics? 
for the Olympic season. Yeah. 2012. What was uh, the 61? Next. So what are the 61, the 13, the 86, the 13? 2012 plus. What are the... I don't know. I'm absolutely not. So I'm A. No, they're not a zero. They can't be the zero. Two seconds. 2012 plus... 72. Not it, I'm afraid. Yeah. Ticket collectors, do you know? 2012 plus 64? Not it. Why do you say that? I was thinking it might be to do with the Olympics, but... Yes, Ellie! 2012 plus 44. It is Olympic locations and their dining codes. Oh. In 2000, oh. the Olympics were in... Australia. Sydney. Sydney. Sydney, Sydney. plus 61 for Australia. 2004, they were in... Athens. Athens, Athens plus 30. 2008, Beijing. in... Be Beijing. Beijing, 86 for China. 2012, if you can think that far back, Ellie, your, your work there <laughs> as a volunteer, your appearance <laughs> in both the opening and closing <laughs> ceremonies, if that's in your mind at all, of course, in London when you were dialed plus 44. Unlucky. So, no bonus points, I'm afraid. What would you like for your own question? We'll go for lion, please. Lion. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Yeah. In blue. Next. Oh, oh it's oh, oh, um, pointing at block. That's a block, yeah. yeah. It's a male, male block. Should we male blocker. Should we have yeah. Next. Rays. 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 Male. Blue ray. Blue ray. Blue block ray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two seconds. A picture of Portugal. <laughs> uh, it's not a picture of Portugal, I'm afraid. So a bonus chance for you now, walruses. Male block, block rays. rays. I mean, we a... I don't know if it is a block. I can't give you long to a consult. A picture with. of Brian Blessed. <laughs> Interesting. The pictures represent male, blocker, rays, before which you can put alpha, alpha male, beta blocker, gamma rays. Yeah. So we need to hear something that follows delta, like delta force. Nice. Last question of the round goes to you, walruses. It's the water question. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. That isn't numbers. Oh, no. um, I don't know. I don't know. Next. Next. One hundred. Could be. But then it's not as ten percent. Then the total Let's have is the next. Lost. Oh wait. Oh. It's one hundred equals one hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred equals one hundred percent. As they say on the X Factor, you are 200% correct. <laughs> That's the right answer. And why? It's percentages of it's the word. It's percentage of the word. Uh, going up in 30s. That's right. There are 10 letters in yeah. 100. So 10% of it would be one letter O, 40%, one H. And we're going up towards 100% of the letters would spell 100. Very well done. That means at the end of round two, the walruses have five points. The ticket collectors have nine. <laughs> Onwards now to the connecting wall and walruses. You'll be going first this time, so please choose lion or water. We will have the water, please. OK, you have got two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. Um, okay, I'm seeing Pixar movies, Ratatouille, yeah, Ratatouille up, cars, onward, um, and Cars, brave. and Coco. Oh, all right, OK. Cars, okay. Um, you look for others. That's, um... Oh, I should be random. Turbo's jet. Uh... Oh. Miller. Miller. Um, tail. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, um, nucleus, tail, nucleus, tail. Yes. coma. Um, these are things to do with um, comets. Jet. There you go. Yes, there you okay, go. Well done. Right. Okay. So, uh, Ratatouille. That doesn't help cars. with the Pixar movies at all. Um, um, hacker. Brave. Um, Turbos. Turbos. 
Turbo. Turbo. Say Turbo. Let's try the Pixar movies. Yeah, keep Let's going. Let's don't do cars. It's too ambiguous. Yes. Yeah, okay. Go. Three okay. strikes now. Right. Uh, well. So the can. Like up seven. Is, up. Is there? A, a, are these rugby Mullen things? Mullen light. Um, Mullen rice. Mullen rice. Cars. Mullen corner. Slip corner turbos, cars, turbos, hacker up. Hot towns? Put your blood up, no. Hot blood. What could Muller be? What else could Muller be? Apart from, no, it can't be a pig, it's anything but from Robert Muller. Can you see a word? Soda stream. Slip up, soda stream. Slip stream. Slip stream, slip stream. Blood stream. Yeah, blood stream. Upstream. Upstream. Wait, what's the other one? Oh, you've solved the wall. Very well done. Now let me ask you about the connections. Tell me about the first group, tail, jet and so on. They are parts of a comet. They're parts of a comet. And the next group, onward and so on. They are Pixar movies. They're Pixar movies. And well done because there were a couple of red herrings for that. Mm -hmm. So you did very well to solve it early. And the next group, blood, up, slip, soda. They are. They could be followed by stream. Bloodstream, upstream, slipstream, soda stream. And what about this last group? Hacker, cars, and so on. No, I think we're. I'm not seeing it. No. I'm not seeing it. I'm not I'm seeing, not it, seeing it. Um, rice. It's, it. it's not rice. Uh... It's fish. If you change the last letter, you can get hake, carp, oh. turbot, and mullet. Oh. No. And there was a point there, Dan, when you were saying turbos, yeah, turbos, it is a word, right? and you didn't quite get to turbot. But you did very well to solve it into the four groups. You get three more points for the connections. It's a total of seven. Let's bring in their opponents now and see how the ticket collectors get on with the other wall, the lion wall. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Okay. Mortal combat, mortal enemy. Mortal sin. Mortal danger. Danger. There's another one. Yeah. Uh, sing, and and set, cos and co set yeah. all maths. And so it's cos actually the six of them, so. Okay. There's lettuce, there. iceberg, yeah. lettuce, cos, lettuce, yeah. leaf. I haven't got another one, I'm afraid. Um, Cot. Oh. Right, so if cos is the lettuce, let's miss that out of the maths. Okay, scores. what were the ones? So sin, tan, second cot. Mm. Uh, and okay. miss out sin and do tan, set, cot and co sec. Okay. So then we have leaf, iceberg. Should we do the mortals? Sure. Okay. Combat, sin. Mortal danger. Danger. And there's another one. We've already done enemy. We've done enemy. Okay. Mortal. Mortal. I don't know. Mortal, mortal engines. Zion. Mortal engines might be something. Okay. Okay. We'll leave mortal as in. Wonder is in uh, Marvel. Oh, Wonder Vision. Wonder as in, yeah, what's her name? Okay. Uh, fire fire engines, fire. You've got a minute left. Cool. Keep, keep, keep doing the, the mortal there, yeah, because he's going to just try some try it. Um, you see, adding letters, taking letters away. Leaf, iceberg, cos, bib. There we are. Okay. Three strikes now. So we've got, we've got the mortals. We know which ones aren't mortal. Zion, potentially. Mortal ribbon's nothing, is it? Surely ribbon. Not anything. Wonder. We've got not much time, guys. So. Okay. But we've tried all the others, haven't we? Should we put sin in this yeah, one? We've got three guesses in. Sin. Yeah. Seconds. Yeah, go for it. Fifteen seconds. Engines. Wonder. Ten seconds. Zion and ribbon. Quick, anything? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. It was your last go, not the answer. But you found two groups, and I can give you points for the connections. Tan, sec, and so on. They are mathematical terms. That's right, they're in trigonometry. You did very well there, because there's a couple of red herrings, so to get that first is very difficult. So, well done. And the next group, leaf, iceberg, and so on. They're type of lettuce. They're simply lettuces. And, of course, you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. Here we go. Thin, engines, danger, enemy. Mortal? Yeah. Mortal? You can put mortal before all of the Mortal Engines, a Philip Reeve book that was turned into a film. Combat, Zion, Wanda, Ribbon. 
Are these related to uh, scenarios in computer games or worlds in computer games? I'm afraid they're not. It's not about computers. It's a horrible word one. If you change the first letter, you get an animal. Oh, Wombat, no. lion, panda and gibbon. Oh. But you did find two groups and you gave me three connections. That's a total of five points on a tough wall. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The walruses have 12 points. The ticket collectors have 14. So it's very close as we go into round four, where, of course, points can be lost as well as one. So be careful, teams. Fingers on buzzers. I can tell you that the first group of vowel-free clues are all pieces of scuba diving equipment. Collectors. Diving cylinder. Correct. Walruses. Regulator. Yes, it is. Walruses. Buoyancy compensator. Well done. Walruses. Depth gauge. Nice diving knowledge. Next category, expressions about expressions. Walruses. Smile and the world smiles with you. Yes, it does. Walruses. Cry and you cry alone. Correct. Walruses. Turn that frown upside down. Mitch, this is an incredible performance. Next clue. Walruses. Grin and bear it. Yes, it is. Next category, unusual pets and their famous owners. Ticket collectors. Brian and Rob Bryden. I'm afraid that's not it, but it's maybe my favourite guess ever. Walruses, do you know? Bear and Lord Byron. Is the right answer. Walruses. Kangaroo and Elvis Presley. Oddly so. That last clue was Ocelot and Salvador Dali, <laughs> but the bell has gone for the end of the round. The ticket collectors finish on... 14, the walruses on 21. And I must say, Mitch Ben, that is the greatest missing vowels performance I've seen since Richard Osman did practically the whole of 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover single-handedly <laughs> in a special. Ticket collectors, I'm so sorry. I mean, there was nothing you could do. They ran away with it. But Brian and Rob Bryden, <laughs> I'm going to spend a lot of time thinking about who Brian is. Does Rob keep him in the cellar? We simply don't know. You've been a lovely team. Thank You've had you. a really good show. It was fantastic to meet you. Thank you very much for coming and thank you for watching. And before we go, I just have to explain, our jumpy lawyers are now worried about a joke I made at the beginning of the show and I just need to clarify, it was a joke. Facebook have not tried to sue anyone on our crew. Facebook have done nothing wrong apart from steal our data and dodge millions of pounds in tax. <laughs> oh, dodged a bullet there. Good night. <laughs>